Hey, this is Buddy with Lilburn Shoe. I just want to do a quick video to thank all my customers, and you know who you are, who've been sending your shoes to me for all these years. I really appreciate it. We're going to talk about leg length discrepancy and elevations real quick. The number one question I get when people call or text is what kind of shoe I can elevate. Well, there aren't many shoes that I can't elevate. There are some shoes that you cannot cut the sole on, so you have to kind of add it to the bottom, but those are few and far between. Um, <clears throat> another question I get is, what kind of shoe should I elevate? And the only answer I have to that is the one that's most comfortable and the one you like to wear. Well, what I'm going to show you here is give you a quick rundown of what we're doing here. You see here I got a sandal. I'm going to elevate this sandal. It's a one inch elevation. And what I do on these is I actually cut the sole, take the sole off, put the elevation between the bottom and the upper, and then put the original sole back on. That way you still have the original sole on the shoe, and you have the same thing on the bottom of the shoe on both shoes. If you look at this shoe here, you got a light gray here, you got a dark gray here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut this thing to where I'm in the dark, dark part. Because when you elevate a shoe, uh, especially if it's a higher elevation, if you cut it where the dark part is, then you can hide the elevation better. Darker colors just hide the elevation better than lighter colors. It's not a case in every shoe, and I'll show you that in just a second. Same thing with this one. Try to cut it kind of along the lines where the contours looks about the same. If you look at this shoe, it's got these lines here. So I would probably, in the side of the shoe, do something like this, since I'm going to cut it here, and make it look like part of the shoe. Try to match this kind of thing up here, match all the colors up, and make it look as good as possible. Here's a sandal I'm going to elevate. In, in normal cases, we try to make the sole the elevation the same color in the soles so they match but on this type of shoe you can see the way it's made it's probably going to be better to match this color here to where the elevation actually looks like part of the shoe of course this is a house slipper so it's a little bit different it's probably not as you know not as most people wouldn't worry that much about the aesthetics on it I do I, I worry about all the aesthetics on it my goal here is to make sure that you get something functional and something that's aesthetically pleasing. In other words, you can't, you can look down at the shoe and it looks like part of the shoe. That's my goal. The higher the lift makes it a little bit harder to do that, but you can still do things to make it more attractive. Kind of like if you look close at this shoe, it's got these lines and these contours in them. I'd probably try to put something in, in the elevation that breaks up the fact that there's an elevation on there. So it looks like part of the shoe. Anyway, again, I just want to thank everybody for that's been sending me your shoes. Uh, I, uh, as far as how long it takes, it depends on the post office or, or how you're mailing it. Of course, there's some time involved there. But once I get the shoe, it shouldn't take me more than a day or two to do them, unless you've got multiple pairs. It may, it may take longer to do three or four shoes, and they may take a couple of three days to do that. But really, most cases, a week to 10 days and you'll get your shoes back. All the information is on my website at lilburnshoe.com and you can call me. I'm the only guy who touches these shoes. I'm the only one who does them and if you have any questions about uh, getting your shoe elevated you can call me at 770-921-4480. You can call me directly. I have all the time to talk to you. Or you can go on my website. If you go on my website at lilburnshoe.com you can see some of the work. We put some pictures of the shoes up there. It gives you an idea of what we do and how we're doing it. If you've had shoes done with me before and you particularly like something and you want to make sure I do it the exact same way, you, you need to note that on your order form because I don't do every shoe the same. Unfortunately, I've forgotten as much as I know when it comes to elevating these shoes. But, but again, if there's something you like or you didn't like, let us know, especially if there's something you didn't like. I, I'm, I don't have a problem with someone, uh, uh, the critique. It, it helps me to do a better job. Please like and share this video. If you know anybody who has a leg length discrepancy or someone who, who, who needs this type of work done, I'd be happy to do it for them. And I'd be 
most appreciative if you would like and share it. Again, it's lilburnshoe.com. The number is 770-921-4480. You can call me at that number, or if you have a question or you have a particular shoe, you want to make sure that I can elevate it, and you can actually take a photo of the shoe and text it to me, and I can uh, respond that way. Again, thank you for to everybody who's been sending me your shoes. Leg length discrepancies are, 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 are uh, more prevalent than people think, and it's very important to make them functional and make them aesthetically pleasing. I understand that you're, you're paying for a shoe, and you also have to pay for the elevation on top of that, and I want to make sure you're getting what you pay for, and you're getting all the, the use out of that shoe that you can. Again, like and share this if you can do that for me, and if you have any questions or comments, just put them below, and I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you. God bless you.